this is Bali Dasan. Uh, today we are going to see uh, the second unit of uh, antenna thermal today. Design aspects and radiation mechanism of antennas. In this unit we are going to discuss about linear wire antenna, loop antenna and uh, some other special antennas given for the analysis. First we are going to see uh, what type of antennas we are having. And then radiation mechanism of loose antennas. So here, basically, we are going to see uh, linear wire antennas, loop antennas, flat antenna, log threading antenna, and corner antenna. So, these antennas are categorized based on the uh, structure. Here, wire antennas, loop antenna, helical antenna, linear wire antennas are comes under the wire antennas, corner and flat antennas comes under the aperture antennas, log periodic microchip and logic antennas are comes under the array antennas. Here, First, we are going to see the radiation mechanism of linear wire antenna. In the linear wire antenna, we have a short dipole and uh, finding the field components of short dipole, electric and magnetic field components, and then finding the radiation resistance for the short electric dipole. Okay. Here, by placing the dipole of length L, that length should be uh, less than the value of the wavelength lambda. By placing that uh, <coughs> dipole on the partition coordinate system with uh, equate, equal coordinates of spherical. We are going to find the field components here yeah. the, by taking the retarded current i naught d for j omega t minus r by c r by c is the uh, retarded type the, and then by finding the uh, equation for vector potential with respect to the z component from the uh, vector potential a the magnetic field component b vector can be written as by finding the curl of the vector del cross c from the the electric scalar potential B can be calculated by using those electric and magnetic vector potential components. We can find the electric field components E R E theta and then magnetic field components H R H theta and H Y. These are the equations which gives the electric and magnetic field components of the short dipole. By using the E theta and H Y value, we can able to find the intrinsic impedance of the short dipole. After finding the field components for both the conditions, near and far field region here. The consolidated equations were given. Then, by taking some assumptions, the finalized values of the field components can be given here. Then, by using the uh, field components we calculated, radiation resistance can be calculated from the average pointing vector. From the average pointing vector, by finding the total power radiated, the radiation resistance can be calculated for this. These are the equations which gives the radiation resistance of the short time. Next, we have the half wave dipole antenna. Half wave dipole means the length of the dipole is lambda divided by 2. By taking the half wave dipole antenna, by placing the antenna, how the radiation takes place, how these field components can be calculated. Here, for the half wave dipole antenna, these are the field components existing. By using the field components, the directivity and then gain uh, radiation resistance of all those parameters can be calculated. This is the radiation pattern of dipole antenna for different lengths. The loop antenna. Loop antenna can be of small or large loop. Okay, it may be of any shape, circular, or square, or triangular, or any loop can be formed. Okay, for smaller loop, the condition should be uh, the value of d is should be less than the value of lambda by 10. For smaller rectangular loop, also we have some condition. Okay, and then uh, the range of applications for loop antenna with the different frequencies are given. These are the structure of loop antenna. Uh, if it is circular in loop means diameter can be considered, square loop means sides can be represented. This is the radiation pattern of loop antenna, which is our given. These are the field components of loop antenna, both electric and magnetic field components. Okay. Then, then again the same procedure we followed for the short dipole, uh, half wave dipole. Here also the same procedure uh, to be followed to find the radiation distance from the field components of loop antenna. How this uh, radiation resistance varies based on the loop circumference and then directivity versus loop circumference. Okay. The loop circumference goes on increasing, directivity is also increasing 